What's up, everybody? Yeah! So, people, what we've been doing is we're actually working on Ishan's headlights, his brand new headlights from a Golf GTI, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So, it's from a Golf GTI, and he had an issue with his old one. Do you want to tell everyone what you did? Basically, when you got the indicator mod in Belcher housing, so for instead of buying a Scott Wheeler goes to be £40 for a normal headlight. Obviously, my boy plugged up some GTI ones, £40 for both of them. It's all about the plug, people. It's all, it's all, all about the plug. So, basically, yeah, we've just been working on one headlight to kind of test out everything. And so basically, after we worked about an hour, this is what we came up with. I think that looks pretty good. You know, it no, looks it's clear really, still. It's mega clear. And then the know, one, it looks brand new. The one we haven't worked on yet. Now, this, this is the old one. This is kind of old. So that's the old one. We haven't worked on this one wow, yet. Wow, it's, it's, it's so bad. You won't even focus, focus on it. Focus, bro. Nah, this, look, look, at, look how old that looks. It's got a spider inside, though. Why you gotta say that for man? Got arachnophobia watching and everything. Yeah man. So we're gonna Bro, work on this I one. I think I saw something drop. Nah, it's just liquid. <laughs> yeah, we need to work on that one. <laughs> so we need to work on this one. But this is the one that we've done earlier. Okay guys? So old new. Wait. Nah, we got it wrong way around. Did we did we I think we did get that the wrong way around? Yeah. Oh yeah we did we did we did. So this is the old. But that's the new. So we've, we, he actually bought the Auto Glim uh, headlight restoration. Yo, I just realised the amount of mess we've made. Like, like <laughs> the chair is like covered in powder. Oh, <laughs> this is an awful that's a design because this yeah, is he's like the granite tougher. Look at the um. Oh, sh <laughs> yo, let's just say I got some tidying up to do at the end oh, of this. Like, <laughs> we did not. So uh, me as well, man. Yeah, he got he got covered quite bad. I was okay me. because I'm I'm actually doing. He's at the, the squirt zone. Yeah, I was at the squirt zone. That's what it was. But this is an hold tight auto gleam. Yeah, this is the one I got. There's either I basically I could either get this one or the Maguire's one, but I got this one because it's from a mate's place. So I got it cheaper than it normally is, and everyone on mine goes. Like we it. said, it's all about the plug. So um, basically, yeah. So. The first couple of stages is kind of pretty self-explanatory and easy. It's um, going through it with uh, 800 grit disc pad and then 1500 and then you go from 2000 pad and then you go to a 3000 pad and then you go and do the polishing pad which is already on here because you just polished up the other one. One bit of advice that we both would recommend is do not oh, use yeah. a handheld one. It takes so much longer, and yeah, you can do everything a lot slower, but it's nowhere, like, it's so much slower that it's just not worth it, and if you're just smart about how you're doing everything, it should be all good. So, I'm going to show you how we're going to do this one, because you know how it looks when you do this one. It's actually really good research for how to do it for my 34. What are you going to say? Do an engine swap on the Golf, yeah, to an R32 engine. No, I was just going to say, I'm going to go to the toilet quickly, but I don't okay. want to do that either. <laughs> okay, good. You, you, you go do that. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to put the camera up. Nice and high. You guys can see us. Like nice. a fly. Um, I'm not thug enough. Yeah. 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 See if you're just... <laughs> oh, I didn't know. Wait, what were we going to try to do? Your voice is meant to go deeper in it. Man. Oh, same yeah. with your chest in it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, so we'll start with 800 grit. Um, technically, the, the guide says do it dry, but we've noticed that it's always better when you do it wet. So, the pad lasts longer, uh, well, the disc, I should say, and it cuts just as nice. So, we're going to go about it with this, and technically, it's safer when you do it when it's wet sand than a dry sand. So. You know, we're gonna do it with this first. Pause and cut, pause and cut, transition. Pause and cut, pause and cut, back into the new location. <clears throat> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So still on the 800 grit. So right, that's the first pass done with 800 grit. 
you notice that the whole thing's cloudy. Now, if you get some areas where it doesn't look as cloudy as the other, it means you're doing it wrong. So make the whole thing as cloudy as it can be, and that's where you need to get it to. This is probably the most important stage, because if you do this bit wrong, then every other stage won't get it to a perfect clarity, which we tested out with that one. So again, yeah, like if you look, we'll, we'll, let me just um, dry this down a little. We've got some cloth. With the, with, the, with the glass, bro. The is over here. Hey. Almost. <laughs> right. Let's wipe that down real quick, man. Oh, my. Right, so you see that haze and stuff there? These little bits of different area and whatnot? It means it still needs more work doing to it. So, you want the whole thing to end up like this top half. Yeah, you literally want it all to end up like that and none of it like these bits. Because if you put your finger over it, you can actually feel the differences. I don't know if that come out, but you can feel the difference. Not bad, loud and scratchy. Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. you can see people. Got rid of a lot of the sanding areas here, but if you can see, there's still different colours going on. When we dry it up and whatnot, these are the areas we still need to get all fogged up to the same level of fogginess. So we're going to need to go over this whole part again. You guys probably notice I slow down my movement speed quite a lot when I'm going faster at the uh, lower or the thicker, rougher grit. That's because you can apply a bit more care and precision as to what you're doing and not go too crazy, which you'll get away with a lot easier if you were doing it with the um, lighter grit. So, forgot to say, we've now gone on to 1500 grit, um, which is still the really thin looking paper, and it's weird that. 2000 grit becomes uh, the foam pad. Currently starting to go over with this one now so we can get it really clear and nice and flat and then we start basically doing the finer cutting. So, oh. same stuff as before. Basically, yeah. So you guys can probably see it's coming out a lot clearer. So the first one was basically it gets rid of most of the junk and everything like that and then each stage after that makes it clearer and clearer. So that's basically it, mostly dried up from the um, 1500 grit. And then now we're gonna go on to the 2000 grit because I don't think we're gonna get much more done with the 1500 grit now. Um, so yeah, we'll see what kind of results we can get with that. Got the pad on. Let's get it all wet. As he's wiping this down, you can start seeing how it's going to look when it's finished. So it's still hazy slightly, but that's a 2000 grit. So now let's take it to 3000 grit. We haven't even dried this one off yet, but you can see just how much clearer it, well, I'm hoping you'll see just how much clearer it is compared to the old bit. So you guys, majority of it. Kind of starts looking a bit more polished up now, but with like slight bit of scratching, but nothing like how it was before. But now once we go through it with the polisher, it should be looking all silky smooth. Damn, that's actually swell mark galore right now. Right, let's get rid of that with the polisher. That's it done with the 3000. We went over a few areas extra. Now we're going to get the polishing pad. Just, there we go. That's enough. That's kind of all you need. Let's get it. Probably just better off doing it like this instead of putting it under the drill. This is the one that's gonna make it everywhere messy. <laughs> I think. Also you gotta start off with a slow speed. 
Oh damn, that covered it all nicely. Get them fumes into your nostrils. Yeah. This smells so damn good. Hello, nice. everyone. Hello. You just picked up a phone call? Somebody from Orange didn't, didn't speak. Oh, put the volume down this one. Mm. Ready for the final wipe down. Oh, wee. Oh my gosh, look at that, y'all. Proof that this does happen in real life if you put the time into it. And no, it's not just on YouTube, it's not just on TV. You can do it at home yourself. As you can see, it's in our kitchen and we made a hell of a mess. Oh, snap. That is all kinds of. Uh oh. Oh. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. Oh my god. New fashion statement. Yo. Splatter is art. Yeah. The we 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 um fashion killers. <laughs> but yeah, so that's that's the look now. That's the look. I think we can probably get it a little bit clearer if we went over it with I don't know, I think Polish is probably this probably the best we can get out of it. Maybe with like a wax or something. Get it a little bit finer of a finish. But yeah, that's that's the look right now, people. Woo wee! Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How's twins, baby? But right. I think that's basically where we're going to be leaving these headlights for the time being. I'm going to fit them onto the car, probably in the next video. I want to do the same things to my car and probably my sister's 535D. I think that will actually be a really good before and after. So if I do do it, I'm going to add it into this clip right now. <laughs> right, so yeah. We're gonna sign off this video now guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Yashan, thank you for bringing over your headlights and letting me do this at midnight. It is actually 10 past 12 right now, you can probably, I don't know if you can see in the clock you like behind me. Oh, it's heavy man, it is heavy. Engaged. Oh my gosh. But right, I'm gonna sign off this video guys. If you do want to try this out, like I said, just test out how it all is. You can try re-sanding certain areas if you've messed it up or you feel like you need to do it anymore and yeah that's basically how we've gone about doing this you guys do it yourselves just be careful how you do it don't mess up your headlights i'll see you guys in the next video peace out uh, now he's gonna try to do it again <sighs> 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 <sighs>